<laughs> may problema siya. And I do not to want to add to the to her words of the day. May maisip pa siya na kung ano ilang nago. Basta sa kami, tamig ta, ta, ko noon. Na may, may malaking problema ko. Eh, yun lang. Kasi pareho, pareho kami prosecutor eh. Eh ako talaga, nagpisa ako doon sa baba, may trial prosecutor for 10 years. Alam ko ang laro, pati yung lumalaban, pag hinuli mo kasi ang governor mayor noon, lalaban yan, magkagera kayo. Ang polis takot. Dito sa akin, walang politiko magsabi sa akin dito na bubulsitin kita. Governor ka magsabi ka sa akin, mayor, itong bata ko, no? Gusto mo sipain kita niya, puntahan kita. Kaya it was, uh, maybe, I said, God's uh, way of doing it. Wala akong nakuha. Wala nga akong barangay captain na isa dito sa Manila. O baski sa uh, yung kapitbahay mo. <laughs> yung neighborhood. Ah, totoo. Yes, I know, sir. You, ah, you were saying nga. that no one really supported so, you during akong, the campaign. Walang, walang, walang governor o military could have the goal to say, well, sabihin ko sa kanan, ina mo, wala akong utang na loob sa'yo at wag mo, hindi ako ganun. So sir, what, um, yung sagot niyo po doon kay Senator Laila Dilima, would you care to answer that? Ano ho yung end goal? San ho kaya ito pupunta? And is, do you want to see her behind bars? You know, she has the denial. I, I, it, it, leaves, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth to be uttering her name. Ito yan siya. Ilang testigo siya, not even one. Nagsabi na hindi totoo yan. It started, uh, well, nagkalat na. So, tapos nangyari, saan ka makakita ng munting lupa na parang, hindi, hindi, ano na ba, matakot ma, ma, makulong yan. May nightclub, may babae, may inom, mahilig rin ako mag tikangkang ng mga baril-baril dyan. O di happy na ako, ano, pwede ka magbili ng mga libro. I only need the lampshade and, uh, and a book. And I'm true for the night. Daytime, I sleep. So, walang problema. Kung ganun lang naman ang presuhan. So, what gives? So, siya ngayon ang sabi ko. Kung ganun ang nangyari, sa noon pa, and I had an occasion to, sabi ko, Senator, may problema kayo better. And that was about eight months when I testified, no, eight months after when I testified in the Senate, remember? About the rice smuggling. It, uh, I was pictured to be a ruffian because of my mouth. Uh, ganon talaga ako. So take it or leave it ako dyan. Kasi sa kampanya, talagang halos isang katirbang mura ang lalo na kung if you are in a impassioned uh, mm. speech. Pero at least ginawa ko. Okay. Walang corruption. Corruption na upakan talaga kita. And even my two fraternity brothers in upakan ko. Yes, always said no, that at but, any time. Uh, yung sabihin mo ito, oust, oust. Uh -uh. Well, uh, probably I'll give you a good fight. <laughs> you know, uh, you, you'll get the bloody nose. Sigurado yan. You know, I wanted to, that was obviously part of my questions a little later on. But since you brought it up, sir, um, these allegations supposed to be of ousting the president. How seriously do you take them? Very recently, Meron supposed to be Mr. President, this blueprint from the former ambassador. Are, are, are these something, number one, you believe well, in? How seriously uh, do you take them? And the matter of uh, the cred credible news, kind of uh, uh, maybe uh, you may have some uh, an inkling of how this guy operates. Because most of the ambassadors of the United States, but not all, are not really professional ambassadors. You have a career, at the same time, they do spying. They are really connected with the CIA. Ganun yan eh. The ambassador of a country is the number one spy. But there are ambassadors of the United States, yung forte nila, is really to, to undermine governance. And that's what happened with Bulgar, uh, Bulgar and Bolivia. Oh, yeah. He was expelled because he was undermining the native president there. And they say that uh, it's a good, a good article, Time magazine, I think, and it's a, it has a good analysis of uh, 
how the elite of that country hates that uh, native president. And uh, Goldberg started to uh, dig under, to erode the foundation of the presidency, and he was expelled as persona non grata. Ako naman, this is my message to the United States and to everybody, to those out there on the streets and for those who are demanding my resignation. You know, uh, I, 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 I feel that I have to honor the contract with the people. Pero kung sabihin mo na tatakutin mo ako or that you'd be happy to see me out, I view life as a matter of destiny, all of what happens here in this universe. So, with uh, little money and no machinery at all, I want the presidency. So to me, it's, uh, there has uh, to be something in there. So when I asked somebody, he said, maybe there's uh, a message from you, from God, or from you to whatever uh, gusto mo i communicate. From you to whom? Sabi ko, well, uh, sabi ko, kasi ko suguro talaga ng Diyos na ilagay ako dito. So it's destiny. So if I get to survive six months and one day, that's part of my destiny. That is your presidency in this planet. If I am still around next year to host the ASEAN, that's my destiny. So sabi ko, okay, kung anong ibigay ng Panginoong Diyos sa akin, natanggapi ko yan. Pero kung sabihin mo ako, you, 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 you mess, uh, you mess uh, up with me. Uh, I, wala naman naman sabi, but uh, I could give you a bloody nose, really. It was the message that I was hearing. And it was corruption in government, drugs, which is really a very long thing now. And uh, it's just too bad that I cannot uh, show to the people and all of you uh, the, the chart of how things are going. But uh, most of the big time uh, are really still uh, very big. And uh, always uh, maybe undermining also government. O talagang I, we have not shown enough to, to them. Pero nakita mo naman sa sa San Juan, isang tonelada. And that would give you an idea the activity of the drug uh, system yeah. in this country. You, you, well, that is your campaign promise, Mr. President. Yes. Sabi niyo po, nung kampanya, three to six months. In mm. September, mm. three months after you assumed the post, sabi mo, I need a little extension because you didn't because, know how because grave the problem was. I was just me dealing with a problem of a small town city. In my town, in my city, Wala masyadong drugs. I mean, Davao is uh, comfortable where well, uh, it is now. Uh, nakakalakad yung mga tao na gusto nila. At uh, uh, wala masyadong crime kasi walang mga tao na nasa droga. So it's a bit peaceful. But when I said, uh, well, how naive of me rather, Kasi yung sinasabi ko, I'll finish it in six months. I was looking at the Philippines. Ang akala ko ganun lang. Davao. Siya bu dito, siya bu doon kunti. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know that when I became the president, I started to squeeze everybody. So you saw the hundreds of thousands of Filipinos. Uh, not counting the original figure given by General Santiago Pedea before. Uh, pegging it at 3 million. Itong again, I have it. As I have said, by the end of the year, I would have hit a million. So you add, you add another to Santiago's original uh, number. You add, you, you add mine, which is about 1 million. So there are 4 million. Mm -hmm. It is no joke. It is not just a problem you can ignore uh, or give a... Uh, uh, just about uh, five, ten minutes attention every day. Yeah. You have to worry about uh, the, the repercussions. <clears throat> Drugs, you know, that's why I kill you. Why? Let me put it this way. If you're asking me if I am happy with the presidency, 
I'll give you this answer. I don't need it at this time of my life. I'm sorry to say it, but uh, I will work and work and work. But kung, ano, maybe it's because of uh, AIDS or uh, the grueling uh, trips that you have to make uh, day to day uh, it would depend on what develops or what evolves around the country and so I get to travel a lot and about the only time and you know, the purpose of going around ASEAN countries is because we're hosting the summit next year and you have to get the feel of what you'd like to uh, present to the ASEAN so you have to get into the Yung dip dip ng tao. So, what do you want us to uh, uh, to present or make a representation of what uh, particular matter that are subject closest to your heart? And I had that, that's why I had to travel, but uh, I hate traveling. Uh, you might as well know that. I hate to travel, but I had to go there because it's my duty uh, being the host uh, country probably around towards the end of November next year, God willing, hopefully.